Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. From the catapults to cannons to the modern day artillery, the role of artillery and big guns has always been a winning factor in the battlefield. Artilleries have been the part of many armies over the long history and have evolved over the time into a complex system to have better accuracy, ease of use and most importantly having a larger range. To further boost the artillery range, the base bleed unit is used. It primarily reduces the base track of shell by injecting hot gases in the rear and thereby increasing the range. However, it is not very significant. Indian Army is operating variety of artilleries with different ranges. For example, Bofors, Dhanush and M777 Light Hoitzers are having a range of around 30 km. Vajra and A tanks with high caliber artilleries are having range of 36 km and 48 km respectively. Now imagine if the range of light howitzer can be increased from 30 km to 50 plus km. Vajra and A tags hitting a target at 70 km or even more than that. So this is going to be great boost to Indian Army's artillery capability to strike deep inside the enemy territories from a huge stand of distance and to give army an unfair advantage over its adversaries. So in the lights of the same, the Department of Aerospace Engineering in IIT Madras has started working on a project for long-range artilleries. The project aimed to increase the range of artillery guns by more than 100% with the use of an active ramjet propulsion. Ramjet is another interesting propulsion technology as it uses engine's forward motion to compress the incoming air. However, it does not operate at speed zero and needs some external propulsion to achieve the desired speed. Even the famous BrahMos supersonic cruise missile of India uses this propulsion technology to maintain its supersonic speed. This will not only allow to increase the range of artillery, but also the altitude of artillery in the flight path. However, at long ranges, there is also need of precision guidance as with increased range, the dispersion of shell also increases. So IIT Madras is also working on developing a precision guided kits for such extended range artilleries. The IIT Madras is also exploiting the traditional method called base bleed, where a chemical at the base of shell burns and emit gases to fill the vacuum behind the shell to reduce the base drag force. Base bleed enables to increase range by 10 to 20 percent. However, to double the range, IIT Madras is using ramjet propulsion technology via indigenously developed fuel and air intake in the front which helps the shell travel faster thereby enabling it to achieve double range. So IIT Madras is redesigning the existing shells using ramjet propulsion technology which is compatible with all existing artilleries of Indian Army. Each gun has its own characteristics but a shell developed by IIT Madras of 155mm caliber will be reusable on all Indian and foreign platforms that utilizes 155mm shell. Well, let's talk about the project development and where IIT Madras is there in this field. First of all, the total cost of development of project is around 9.95 crore rupees and the projected timeline in 2020 for development was 2.5 years which has already passed. Now recently, the Lieutenant General P. R. Shankar, who has retired as Director General of Artillery in October 2016 and at present is Professor in Aerospace Department of IIT Madras, the same department who is developing the Ramjet Artillery, has said that the Ramjet technology for artillery has been developed. Yes, you are hearing right. He also said that we are the first one to achieve and no one in the world has developed this technology. He also confirmed that ramjet artillery technology developed will double the range of existing artillery shell. He said that the Grad M has a range of just 20 km, but this can be enhanced to 120 km with the help of ramjet technology. He also said 
that the last month that is in february 2024 the 155 mm ramjet powered artillery shell was tested in balasore but it failed however the learning will further help to design a better system however 6 months back the half scale model of the ramjet powered artillery that is 76 mm artillery shell has been tested in the school of artillery deolali so looking at the development progress we can definitely say that significant progress has been made in this direction the ramjet technology has been established successfully and now it's a matter of upscaling it to 155 mm artillery shell which will witness very soon This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.